Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's transform this cheap packet hair into a fringe looking wig. So, guys, if this is your first time of coming by my channel, this is how we looking like after I'm wigging. So, you can tell this affordable wig between this affordable see how it's, I'm slaying this hair. It's a fringe wig and a curly wig, and it's having a good quality, guys. You won't do miss this video. So, let's go straight to the Now, let's check the guys. Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Helen Debbie and in today's tutorial we are going to be talking about how to make a fringe hair using a packet, very cheap and affordable packet hair. So we're making use of different packet hair, very cheap and affordable packet hair you can use to make a materials needed for today's tutorial is the packet hair we are using and this is how the packet hair is looking like. You can see, so this is the name of the hair. We have Daisy Packet Air, so wave one. So I got this in a local store at my side. I got it at a local store at my side, and this is how the air is looking like. You can see how yummy it is. So I want to make something a fringe, and it's going to be like a coily bang. As you are needing it, your canvas edge. You can see this canvas edge. This is size twenty three. But if you don't have a canvas set, you can make use of a mannequin. You use a mannequin or you use a canvas set. Anyone you can afford. You don't need to rob a bank before you get something going. So this is this is the needle and thread we are going to be using for today's tutorial. So let's go straight to the video. If this is your first time coming by my channel, you are welcome. I'm Kenny Debbie. And in this video, we'll make the eyewise how to slay on borders. We talk on ventilation, we talk on lifestyle, you know, everything doable. So guys, welcome back. So this guys, is the mannequin head we are using. We have placed it on our mannequin uh, our stand and we are going to be using a um, dome cap, not the mesh. We are using the dome cap and what you have to do is just to place it on your mannequin head. So after placing it on your mannequin head, I decided to use a mannequin head and not a canvas head based because of those that doesn't have a canvas head. So you can still get your actual measurement using a... Um, mannequin head so you make sure you place it very well especially that bag then you are going to be needing your um pin you can use your t-pin or your office pin to to pin down the um cap to the mannequin head so after doing that you make sure you pin the air around and make sure the the cap is laying down very well on the mannequin head you can see how i'm placing it so you make sure you you pin the the um cap very well with the with the pin so this is how it's looking like after after the pinning down so what you need to do is to take your packet a daisy packet a that's what we are going to be using for today's tutorial and we are making a fringe so it's having only four bundles you can see the four bundles so this is the packet egg we are using then you go ahead and remove the paper and the the cello tape or whatever they put there so you are going to remove it make sure while removing it make sure you you remove it easy you know it's a blend air so you won't make the so the coils won't scatter so this is how it's looking like after i move the air so this is how the air is looking like so what you are going to be doing now is to fix the air then as i said earlier you are needing your needle and thread for this process so while you are while you are um sewing it down make sure you measure this nap nap area very well then because it's long i'm just using it in a double in a single i'm i'm sewing it single not in a uh, in double ways i don't i don't know whether you understand i did not double the bundles it's only single Listen, so that the air will be so full and it will be enough because I, I literally want to use one pack for the video. So you can see how I'm taking my measurement. So once you get to this side, you have taken your measurement. You just need your needle and thread, then you start sewing. So once you once you start sewing, oh, this is the air. You can see how I, I zoom it so that you guys can see it. So you start from the tip. Then I, I think literally we, you should know how to sew. So you just start sewing to the net. You can see. So and another thing what I want you to guys to know is that I make sure I start from the tip of the of the net. That's the dome cap. So that it will not give any space while the while my client wear this wig. So this is me and I'll be sewing it. So watch the process and I'm going to come back 
where I need to come back. So it's just a gradual process. Keep sewing, keep sewing, keep sewing until we get to the final look. So keep watching, guys. I'm going to come back. If you have not subscribed to my channel, do where to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you because you are the real MVP. If this is your first time of coming by my channel, you are welcome. This is Kenny Debbie, and I am so happy to have you in my channel. So let's keep sewing and sewing. Then I will come back where I need to come back. See you guys. Pair of jeans, a shirt or two We didn't pack as if we weren't and going back It doesn't matter if it's true I've got a feeling love will give us what we like The world is waiting up The world is waiting half a step beyond our door yeah. And if it's not enough I wanna see the stuff the world has got in store oh, I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights A year away Like the seconds The beginning and the end uh -huh. But if in time it's yesterday Your picture's gonna bring it home To me again The world is waiting up The world is waiting Half a step beyond our door oh. And if it's not enough See the stuff the world has got in store I wanna take it all in, I'm falling The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos Where you go, every corner twice as bright There'll be my treasures forever When I can't hold you tight, I'll see the Stockholm lights The Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights So guys, we are done with the so after following step by step uh, sewing, this is what is looking like. Then you are going to be using the last bundle, that's the front part, and this is where I want you guys to pay a very good attention. You can see how I sew it. So I'm going to just be doing it in a circular form now. So for those people, maybe for beginners, you can if you have a marker, you can just mark it space it by one one inches then you are good to go so it will be a guideline for sewing but me i really don't i can do it like that that is if i'm doing a custom wig but for now i just felt like i can do it like this and I'll, and it comes out perfectly so if you can do this method it is good for you if you can't do it make sure you just mark it with a marker so that it will be as a guideline for you so what you just need to do now is just to start sewing in a circular form you can see that i use the last bundle so make sure you space the air at the back very well because it gets to a point whereby i started losing from the back of the air to fill in the up side because you want the up to be full and not to be scanty so so that's one thing about this packet air just make sure you, you space it very well at the back so that it will be enough at the front you know you, we said we are going to be using one packet here so what you just need now is to start sewing in a circular form, which I'm doing in this video. Then keep watching, and you'll see the end result of this. Uh
so guys we are done with the air you can see we have the fringe part so this here this place is a very important place so i have to put it in my other mannequin to cut the air because i don't want to i don't want the situation whereby the air will not be stable very well so if you have someone that is near you can just cut it on the person head or if you have this mannequin then it is good for you so i'm just going to be trimming it this way so just watch me the way i trim it i make sure i measure maybe i measure it very well because i want the fringe to be at the um above the bra lid so that's what i'm doing now so i'm going to be cutting it small by small you can see i didn't cut it at once because i just want to have this flawless fringe look you can see i'm cutting it so watch to the end and you you're gonna see the final look of the air after i cut the air so this this um place please you need to be careful because we want to think that we want our fringe to be we want our fringe to be equal then you just need to be careful with it then you start it you tr make sure you trim the air very well trim it because it's a blender so you need to trim it make sure the air is looking equal okay so guys we are done we are done cutting the air so the what we are going to be needing now is our living conditioner so i'm going to going to be using this product mega growth living conditioner so i'm going to just be using it to rub the air plus the blender and this is the only thing i can think of using so this product work magically on the coil you can see that the coil is already bouncing back to life then another thing is my making living conditioner i put it in the spray bottle with with water then i use it to spray the air you can see how the the coil is looking so gorgeous see it's giving it's giving it's giving and this is how i revive the coils back so make sure while you are you are seeing this with you to make sure the coils is not that scattered make sure you are very careful with coils because it's a blender you don't want something that once the coils are closing it's very difficult to get the coil back but using this living conditioner it helps to regain the um coils back so this is how the air is looking like you just trim it and this look at the final look of the air see that the air is kind of giving so i decided to just put it on and see how the air looks on my head so guys keep watching This is a statement to appreciate all that is vacant. It's just for the taking. If you make up your mind to be taken, I'm never complacent. I would work in a bit too obvious. There's a replacement for persistence and patience. In this life, I want to be sorry. I feel so 